Bei mir ist der US-Astronaut Stan Love. Er ist auf der SDS 122 geflogen, das mit dem deutschen Hans Schlegel. Uh, Stan, um, for the astronauts, uh, which is the difference to fly the space shuttle or a rocket? <laughs> well, of course, the space shuttle was a rocket. It just looked like an airplane. But the difference between a shuttle flight and an Orion flight. So uh, when I flew with, uh, with Hans in uh, 2008, um, if you had to sum up our mission in one word, it would be construction. We added the European Space Agency's Columbus Laboratory Module to the space station. So we were turning bolts and hooking up power supplies. Uh, if you had to sum up an Orion flight in one word, it would be exploration. We are going way deeper into space than the International Space Station and learning new things about our universe. Mm -hmm. We are now standing uh, beyond the step into deeper space. What does it mean? Uh, well, the moon is about a thousand times further into space than the International Space Station. Uh, we are getting pretty good now at operating in low Earth orbit and it's time to set our sights on more distant goals and the moon is the next obvious target. What does it mean for the US, for the world, to go back to the moon? Uh, we've been 50 years since our last moon landing and it's long past time we went back uh, again for for our country, for our European partners. Of course, uh, uh, Europe supplied the service module for the Orion ship. Um, and then, of course, for everyone in the world to have people uh, walking on the moon again. It's impressive to see the rocket. And it, it's, it's uh, much more bigger than the uh, Saturn V. And uh, you did studies about the uh, engine propulsions. What, what uh, power is in the, in the uh, engines? So we have four space shuttle main engines. The space shuttle flew on three of those. And we have two solid rocket motors that are like the ones we used on the shuttle, except uh, with an extra segment and a 10 or 15 percent more thrust. So the total liftoff thrust of this rocket is 8.8 million pounds. The total liftoff thrust of a shuttle or a Saturn V was only 7.5 million pounds. So this is 15 to 20 percent more power and you will feel the air vibrate in your chest like you're standing in front of the speakers at a big concert. The astronauts often told me the situation, the atmosphere on the ISS is very special because of the international cooperation. What do you think at this time about the international cooperation? So international cooperation is going to be a part of Artemis. Uh, we know already that there will be a Canadian on the crew. Uh, and the rest of the crew has not yet been named, so we don't know who it's going to be. Um, but this time it's going to be more than just one country. It's going to be all countries who wish to participate are welcome. And I like to see space exploration as a human endeavor and not just a national endeavor. We have a new political situation. Uh, which are the consequences for uh, space uh, exploration? So, so far for space exploration, our cooperation has continued as agreed. Um, but I am concerned about that, and I worry that at any moment, um, if somebody makes a decision at a high level, that we could have our cooperation disrupted. But I think space exploration, um, maybe uniquely among everything that humans do, has the capacity to unite us as a globe rather than divide us. Thank you very much, Stan. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.